dance movement psychotherapy is um, a form of psychotherapy that uses uh, movement and dance as the medium for communication. Now, the um, Association for Dance Movement Psychotherapy UK has defined the field as uh, the psychotherapeutic use of movement and dance through which uh, a person can engage creatively in the process to further their emotional, cognitive, physical or social integration. DMP is founded on the principle that the mind and the body are connected and that movement reflects the individual's patterns of thinking, feeling and communicating. Now, the other important aspect of dance movement psychotherapy is that um, uh, the client-therapist relationship are central and um, the dance movement psychotherapist, through acknowledging and supporting the client's movements, um, um, he facilitates, he or she facilitates clients to arrive at new understandings of personal or relational issues and achieve therapeutic change. The students we have at the MSc program come uh, from all over the world and also come with very diverse experiences and qualifications. They may have a dance degree or uh, they may come from uh, um, a caring profession, they may come from uh, nursing or psychology, uh, they might have been teachers or counsellors or psychotherapists. They all need to have experience of working with vulnerable populations in a caring capacity for at least a year. And an ongoing commitment to dance and movement for a minimum of two years. I am halfway through my first year at Queen Margaret University studying dance movement psychotherapy. My background is in ballet. I started dancing when I was three years old, um, went to the Royal Ballet School at 16, got my first job at 19, and um, I was working with the Scottish Ballet for 11 years. Just retired from uh, dancing professionally in September and started the course here straight away. So I come from Poland and I've been in Scotland for about 13 years. And before I entered this course, I have studied um, cognitive behavior therapy uh, and become cognitive behavior therapist and work at the private hospital in Glasgow, specializing in this field, uh, particularly in addictions and general uh, with you know patients with mental health. As an MSc, this program supports students to develop critical thinking and an understanding of how to use research in clinical practice. I bring to the program my two of my particular interests, and one is, is closest to my heart, and that is a practice called authentic movement, which is a part of the whole movement therapy process of using movement to really be in touch with oneself and it's a practice where people uh, learn um, embodiment is an interesting word it's the experience of being oneself and they learn to not just make movement or improvise or be creative but to listen very deeply and in fact often with closed eyes just as i'm doing to listen very deeply to what their body seems to want to say if they just let go and listen. I'm um, both a lecturer and the placement coordinator, so I set up the um, placement education experience for the students, and uh, which means that they're going to be in placement two, two days a week um, or one day if they're part-time. Um, 
and that means that I spend um, time actually developing the placement opportunities and meeting with um, placement providers, um, to persuading them that dance movement therapy is something they want and uh, would be really valuable. So that's an, an, in, an interesting aspect of my role. I'm fortunate enough to have two separate placements with two completely different client groups. One is with children in the East End of Glasgow, and a mainstream school. Um, for whatever reason, it's generally home life have slight behaviour difficulties in the classroom. And my other placement is with adult mental health in Paisley. It's a, a drop-in centre. Um, and I'm really enjoying both placements. It's great to have two really completely different client groups. One of the things that have been offered to me through this course is a placement. And it's at the residential school uh, in Glasgow for children with autism, where I have been recently uh, placed over the past three months. Um, I've been involved in therapeutic work with groups of uh, children between 3 and 16 years old. Um, this, this particular group um, where there are three children and um, they're 9, 10 and 11 and recently we've been trying to do a variety of movements and I just really find um, rewarding. Um, it's, you know, I haven't worked with children before and here, here I am in a school full with children uh, in the middle of the room uh, finding a way of that I can connect with them, with the children that, you know, usually they will not give you eye contact. Queen Margaret offers students the opportunity to study in a university that's fairly um, containing. I don't want to say it's small, but it's certainly not a huge university, so it's got a homely feel to it, and students can relate um, at a very, in a very simple way to the librarian, to their lecturers, to different bits of the university that will support their learning as best as possible. After graduation, um, people may work in health services, schools, the voluntary sector, um, social services or prisons, or they may uh, engage uh, with uh, private practice. 